Well, since the beginning, extreme overclocking has pretty much been the same way. You take the pot, you mount it to the motherboard, you pour the liquid nitrogen in, you watch the temperature meter, and you regulate the temperature based on what the CPU or GPU needs, right? So nothing's changed. I'm Vince Lacido, Kingpin. Been overclocking since about 2001, 2002, and been doing it the same way since then until now. My name is Tin, and I'm also known as Ilya Cemento, and I'm doing extreme engineering here at EVGA. I've set lots of 3D mark records. Uh, I helped a design team with VGA. We've made three Kingpin cards. Have we made three? Four. <laughs> we made four Kingpin cards. One day I just got really sick of pouring. And I said, hey man, let's do it. You know, this, this thing we always talk about forever. So we sat down and we sort of drafted out everything, what we'd need. I started testing the valves. I started testing the blocks manually. First, I was kind of skeptical because we were talked about this for maybe like seven years before I get even to EVGA and work with Wins together in the same lab. We started out with just a lot of conceptual stuff and drafts and drawings. Tin made a manual controller for me. We modded that Mortal Kombat controller, but it still relied on a human to activate it and control it. So that's how we started this uh, crazy project about doing the automatic LN2 cooling system. This machine will use a lot less LN2. So it takes some ideas from the water cooling world, some ideas from the extreme overclocking world, mix them together into one, one crazy system. First time I saw this thing ripping 5.7 physics over and over again, I was just like, holy sh man, this thing just broke a fucking record. <laughs> This block has a very high capacity. It's actually able to push KP 1080 Ti to the absolute limit. In fact, it can push any GeForce card to the absolute limit. It allows to push the system harder and do it with the less work involved. The old way just doesn't beat it. And, you know, everything evolves, and this is a great evolution of extreme overclock. This machine has broken five single card VGA records. I want to get this to a point where it's very plug and play. So anybody can take it and be your benching, benching for records. Power, check. Temperature, check. Control, check. Thank you.